Red Velvet Cutout Cookie Recipe When a cookie dough rolls out as beautiful as this one, I know that I will enjoy making a lot of cookies with it. And I am pretty sure that you're going to enjoy it as well. So let's get started. For this recipe, I am going to use butter and soft cream cheese. And first, I am going to sift my flour, baking powder, salt and cocoa powder and set it aside. For these cookies, I am going to use powdered sugar instead of regular sugar, so these are going to be very soft cookies. So I am going to sift my powdered sugar and set it aside as well. I am going to start by creaming the butter and the cream cheese at medium speed. And I am going to mix for about 4 to 5 minutes until they are very soft and fluffy. And don't forget to check in the description of this video all the ingredients and procedure on how to do this recipe. Now that it is very nice and fluffy, I am going to start adding the powdered sugar. If you want the cookies to be more sweet and more resistant, you can substitute the powdered sugar with regular sugar. Now I am ready to add a secret ingredient that is not so secret because red velvet always includes buttermilk. So I am going to add a little bit of buttermilk to this mix. I am going to add one egg a little bit of white vinegar I am going to mix until everything is well combined and then I am ready to add the food gel color for this I am going to use the same technique that I used to tint my red royal icing first I am going to add a little bit of pink food gel color I will mix for a little bit and then I will add the red food gel color and continue mixing until everything is nice and even. This mix is looking beautiful. Now I am going to lower the speed and I am going to add the flour mix with the cocoa powder and I am going to mix for about 2-3 minutes in low speed and then I am going to increase the speed to maximum so the dough is going to be very well mixed. When you see that the cookie dough is starting to make a little bowl and it comes out of the walls of your bowl, it means that it's ready. Now I am going to get my rolling pin with some rings to get a very even 
thickness on this cookie dough and then I am going to cover it with plastic and I'm going to put it on the refrigerator overnight and tomorrow I will cut out these cookies. These cookies are so beautiful and delicious and you're going to bake them as other cookies at 350 Fahrenheit degrees for about 10 to 13 minutes and you are ready to enjoy these cookies. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you're new here my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, push the notification button and don't forget to watch my next videos. Thank you so much. Bye bye.